It's my feel good breakfast show. Now, there's a saying that says you can't teach an old dog new tricks because as we grow older, many of us find it harder and harder to change our behaviors and our, and our habits or to transform ourselves overall. But one man in India has done exactly that. He was once a powerful oil executive, but he's thrown it all away on a quest to find the meaning of life. And traveling the world as a spiritual guide, he now counsels others on how to find meaning in their own lives. And we caught up with him during his tour in South Africa to find out what's, what advice he has for our fellow South Africans. Born in a small village in India in 1965, P.K. Mohan would grow up to become a highly successful businessman, managing a multinational oil company with all the material successes most people dream of. But all of that changed in 2007 when he decided to renounce it all to become a spiritual leader in an attempt to try and answer some of life's greatest questions. How do we get to the core of ourselves? This is exactly the fundamental question almost every modern man is asking. because. Today, there are no people. There are only walking and talking concepts. Because education gives you concepts, religions gives you concepts, teachers gives you concepts, uh, family, society, everybody pumps concept on people. This is okay, this is not okay. The do's and don'ts. So what we are creating in the world or what we have created in the world is cages. If we are able to see through the concepts and take life as it comes, number one, that's the first level of liberation. Liberation is that you accept yourself. Since becoming a spiritual guide known as Mohanji, the former business executive now travels the world in an effort to teach people how to find meaning in their lives, often leading meditations at special retreats for people looking to free themselves from depression or stress. How do we experience liberation? When nothing binds us, we are liberated. A person, a place, a time, a situation uh, or an event. If it does not bind us, we are liberated. Otherwise, we are always bound. We are dependent on something else for our pleasure. It's like uh, you give the remote control of your life on somebody else's hands, and they keep changing the channel. So we will never be stable, you know. Keep the remote control of your life into your own hands. Every individual has the potential for inner richness. But we do not understand inner richness because the society, education, and the system makes you kind of mechanically following outer richness. Encouraging people to look inside to find happiness, Mohanji takes a hard view on society in a world that is constantly changing. Even if you look at the levels of morality, that also has changed. Ethics have changed. You know, so many things which uh, we considered as absolutely unacceptable in the past has now, uh, it's okay. You know, uh, bribing, you know, uh, corruption, Oh, it's, it's okay, there is corruption, I understand. We started accepting things in that level. That also gives us poverty. It's inner poverty. But if you, if you are in, inside rich, if, if the society is rich inside, there'll be no corruption. Because you wouldn't want anybody else's anything. You're rich inside. With insights that resonate with people across the world, Mohanji believes that self-discovery is the key to personal growth. Before going into religions and rituals and practices, understand who you are. The moment you understand who you are, you will understand that you are rich by birth, inside. There is no need for external things to prove to the world that you have succeeded something. Because true richness is something which stays with you forever, not that which comes and goes. There's a very, very uh, wrong notion about success today. What is it? It's that externally you accumulate a lot, you are successful. This is the feeling that is given to the children. So you compete, you fight, you, you make wars, but you, you acquire, you collect, you conquer. But if you perfect in what you do, whatever is your profession, you perfect in it, success comes to you. When you do something which you are fully satisfied with, when you do something which, which makes you happy, I believe that success is in the happiness of the moment. Not that we can be happy when, when we have a million dollar tomorrow. No guarantee. Many people, by the time they acquire one million dollar, they would be very sick. <laughs> they would have exhausted themselves, you know. So I feel that whatever uh, is here now with us, that should be experienceable and enjoyable. If that happens, then we are in the right track. Be natural, be you. In three words, I can say, be here now and be happy today. 
so that tomorrow also will be fine.